That's what they feel like, these cars? Yeah. Everything I touch, there's an issue with so far. This, you, you, you don't need that. Why Why need that. Leave well, that. Leave that. Why would I right leave for that? So I'm not walking a mile apart. Shout out Travis Performance. Look at you guys see it. If you see that, you know. You want to pray to? Brian. We'll pray to Brian. Okay. He knew it. Shh. I'm trying to listen to the motor or anything. All right, guys. Well, today we had to go stop by Tommy's because we had to go grab some stuff, which I will show you once we get to the shop. But every time I come to Tommy's, you know, I don't want to film all that. You know, I just want to hang out with him, talk. Because I genuinely like Tommy. So I don't want to just stick a camera in his face the whole time. But we do have some key components for the Porsche. They're going to need some cleaning up. You'll see it when we get to the shop. Just a quick pan, maybe. Can they see that? That was quick. They're filthy, moldy, dirty, so we'll need to clean them up. Right there, that could be you. Would you whip that thing? Yeah, I don't know about putting that much on it though. What? You didn't buy for that much actually. No, it was pretty cheap. Yeah, it's a cool car, it needs cleaning up. It's a driver's car. Yeah. I didn't check the mileage. It still looks badass. But anyways, we gotta go back to the shop. Dagnell is doing I don't know what, and we gotta unload all this stuff, so see you guys at the shop. I see it. Old school. OGs, if you know. Shout out to Tommy. Not for these, because these were in my car and then I brought them to him because I thought they were useless, but they're worth like $1,300. We're talking eBay prices. But look at them. They weren't even outside. They weren't, but like this shit. Don't do that. Oh my God. Look it. It, it comes right off. It, it wipes right off. So it'll be a nice transformation. But then we got, this is the only thing that was holding us up from putting the interior back together. Mostly. Yeah. Oh, we got two things. Yeah. We could do the whole center console. Yeah, forget about it. Exactly. Like this. I wasn't planning on doing this just to keep costs, you know, down. But you guys see the red. So these either come in red, yellow, or black. Depending on how you spec the fucking Is there other colors? Out. There's probably green, blue. It's Porsche. They do crazy yeah. shit. Like yeah. Skittles, but the red is cool. I think I prefer the red over the yellow. The yellow is clean, don't get me wrong. But I have red calipers, so we have front, front and rear, and then this piece right here. This is big. This is it's a little dirty, but I, it's pretty cleanable. We'll right? clean it up, Can yeah. We'll that? try to clean it up. This is the shift knob and shift boot out of GT3 because you could tell by the Alcantara. If it was in a Carrera or a Carrera S, it would be leather. It did take, I was gonna look at the what's it called part number. Most they all the part numbers are all the same. I wonder if that's the same besides the last like three they changed, which is the color and oh, part stitching. Right here. Yeah. From so I'm gonna, I took a picture. I'm gonna look it up. Twelve hundred, I think. Or yeah, they're eight hundred. They're dra They're crazy. crazy. Yeah. Like Over think expensive. about like why would you even do that? If I made people do it. You know these people. They got they're they're ballers. Speaking of, I'll pop a picture up right here. He's gonna get this <laughs> in a video. Outbitted. I'll kill him. He did it. Oh, I won. Oof. On 9 11, baby. Who said this is a bad day? <laughs> Tommy's on Bring a Trailer. He sees Porsche GT3 seats, carbon back. Red stitch. He's been in there. Guess the price. Give you a second. $18,500. <laughs> US dollars. And he was happy. He's like, this is a deal. Isn't Unreal. That, wasn't that crazy? Yeah. Unreal. Almost $20,000 on two seats. Next level shit, people. Tommy's doing good, so you can hate him all you want. But he's smiling at his account, people. <laughs> he's happy as hell, buying seats. He don't give a fuck. So let's clean these up. They are, they are nasty. I believe one didn't work, but I'm gonna cross my fingers and blame the car from when, what it was. Not a lot of stuff was plugged in, so I'm gonna go with that for why it did not work. Ugh. 
Hell yeah, we're gonna have interior here soon, people, and then we can actually drive the fucking thing without sitting on a milk crate. Special green juice, you know? Rub that thing down. And then this stuff right here. I mean, I've had this. This was like the first leather cleaner that I've ever got, and I never looked back since. This shit's good. I'm sure there's better stuff out there, people. I'm just saying, this is what I like. It's nice, it makes them look nice and shiny and not very slippery. Got these puppies cleaned up. Quick little spit shine. This, it, it's a little messed up here. And uh, it's missing one of these over here. The seats are the last thing that we're gonna put in the car because we're in the back all crunched up doing seat belt things. Yes, people, I'm growing up. I've said this before. Look, okay, so this is how it's gonna look. Something like that, you know? No rear seats though, but you could still sit in here because it's kind of like, still like a little bucket. That is a vibe. I, I've always wanted colored seat belts, but you don't want to buy China seat belts, you know, in a Nissan or something. <laughs> I guess it's better than no seat belt, but it might cut you in half. That's what I fear the most. These are so sick. So freaking cool, people. I'm stoked on these. Shout out to Tommy. Front is kind of, is mounted, ran. Kind of dark in here. And we'll put, we'll, we'll just put the seat belts in and put the damn panel on and I'll show you guys you once it's all You might have been able in. to slip it over. And then you just slide it, yeah, you could have. We're making progress, people. We can't lose this, this is Derek's. He would really kill us. Okay, so so far we got backseat passengers. Still got a seat, kinda. Yeah. It's not too comfortable. How's that look? Not red, bad looking. The red yeah. I told you, you wanted to keep the black ones. I didn't think you wanted to pay up for red ones. I stole them from Tommy. Subwoofer unit. And it goes up here. Nah, I think it goes down, dude. dude it doesn't go it on top. Doesn't. It does not. Another piece that goes here. No, there isn't. Alright, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna test. It does not go on top like that. That looks like shit up there. It ha it's gonna be flush. Cause then you gotta think, the seats go here. There's literally nowhere else for it to go. They don't go like that, I'll tell All you right. that. Let's see, Houdini. I'm telling you. Let's see you bring it down. Unless you're a magician, Shout out to how this performance, look at you guys see it. If you see that, you know. Best appearance, boss Brian is that. in the building. He's taking off that? work tomorrow to go drifting. People don't tell his boss. His boss knows. But he knows you're going to do a racetrack? Yeah. All right, I'll make sure he knows, just to make sure. Okay. Oh, Brian, we got the seatbelts in, check them out. Oh, you didn't see the seatbelts. Yeah, nice. You thought I was capping. What do you mean, I thought you were capping? Brian took these seatbelt covers off and he is an interior guy. So, when I have a difficult interior piece, I normally typically ask Brian and he does it flawlessly. Look at that, that snapped right in, that's uh, nice. I heard it. Uh, oh it? shit, I broke it. Looks like this. I pound it? I didn't hate that at all. What you I hate that. Yeah. Done? Yeah, done. Missing another key. What an idiot. Who loses Porsche parts? Billy said, is that the piece? And you said, no, that's not it. This is the fucking piece. You're playing. Are you excited to drive your car tomorrow, bro? Or are you a little nervous? That definitely looks like the piece. It is. I don't know how it got out. Brian solved the jigsaw puzzle. Let's see. Oh, easy, Bri. What? Watch the windshield. Fucking $4,000 window. No, it's not. Yes, it is. My boy Alberto will get one for three hundred dollars. I doubt it. My buddy's got an Aventador. Can you? How much can you do on that? Five hundred or three grand. You might have to get that one straight from Jamborghini. Oh, I didn't like that, but it sounded executive. Dude, there's. That's how it's done. I guess so. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you got it. Guys, we're probably going to throw the seats in tomorrow because it's getting late. We spent a lot of time at Tommy's where he was, you know. It's a good bumper. <laughs> really it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then they flip back. Look at him. <laughs> He's fucked up. You ain't that nice in it. Be careful. guys looking at? Ah, we're inspecting. Don't worry about what we're doing. Right, can you give me any life, any drifting advice that I should remember? Yeah, there's plenty. One. When you're first starting out? Yeah. Or if there's anyone's watching us, say, go, go fast. Wide, use the whole track and mm -hmm. go fast. A lot huh? of people are telling me not to but get a handbrake, but if I did, which I have not yet. No, listen, those people are fools. Okay. What you should do is consciously learn to not like use the handbrake as a crutch. As okay? a savior. But no, no, if you're in, if you get yourself in a situation where you're going too fast and too wide, and there's a wall in front of you, the handbrake will save your life. So I care about yeah, it's my good life. to have a handbrake in the car even when learning, but don't every turn be yanking the damn thing. Yeah, you can't do that. You just use the clutch for that, for the initiation. It's hard to explain all yeah. drifting in 10 seconds. But. We'll learn it. So is it stupid for me to buy a racing suit? Like, I a, would say first you start? can hold off on the fire suit. So you probably don't need that. <laughs> I was um, looking at them, but. I'm not sure, you know, you need Nomex socks or anything like that. You could probably just go with fans and jeans. Okay, that's it. Like everyone else. All right. And just like that, we are back. Excited, because today we are finishing putting the interior in. We have the center console. We have the center console trim, the seats. I want to take it for a little spin, because if you guys missed the, la the video of me driving it, it's like there's only one video of it. I haven't drove it since, so I give, you know, you guys the opportunity that missed it to see me drive it and see how it feels in an in-car POV with everything. You know, you know what this is. Right here, Rejuvenator. And this stuff I will put on any of my shoes, no matter. It could be a $10 shoe, it could be a $5,000 shoe. This stuff is very safe for suede, leathers, fucking cloth, goats, fur. So uh, this should work on this shifter splendidly let's go set up a little station outside in the sun and clean away he probably don't have to say too much rick rick ross has bought a fucking brand new porsche not brand new but we should do this in a container but we're gonna just do it straight uncut that's how i like it get that pure <laughs> you ever seen a polished knob dude i'm telling you I don't care. It's don't smooth it. It's it's horse hair. This smooth it. It's horse hair. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what they tell you. Dude, people use this on fucking crazy shit. Crazy shoes. I see them. I follow them. Expensive shoes. Fuck yeah. Watch. Look at the numbers. Good. Look at the numbers. Cause they have just painted them white. Yeah. Wait, do I need to dilute this shit? They do say. They do say you gotta put it in a thing of water. Give me that water bottle. Well, you're not doing that. Good. I'm telling you, this is it. I want that good foam on the top there. My boy Dom just stopped by, brought me through. Crazy gift. Crazy gift. You might be able to get these on the site still, but I don't know. This was like friends and family only. And Dom, he's plugged into the music industry. Came through, he says he had it. I, I didn't think he was gonna bring it. He slid through and brought it. Got you, I'll open it here uh, in a little. We're doing good, crazy shit right now. Clean this, it looks fucking 10 out of 10. We got the center console in. Look at it, look how clean it came out. Yeah, it came pretty clean. It came out. Put it back it, yeah. in the sun, right? Yep, I got it, put it back. Center console's going in. It's a console, not a council. <laughs> in and then we got to put the uh, these side pieces on. Gotta plug everything in underneath. Not anywhere. 
Here is going in people, piece by piece. Shifter's not on yet. I did mount the sub, here we go. Let's do the, fin the finishing touches, shall we? Without breaking it, shall we? I don't really touch that. Oh, that's so good. It's that hole right there. You wanna do the honors in it? Easy with the clips. Come on, kid. Oh, it's stiff as a brick. Is it? No, I'm just kidding. I think it just slides on like BMW. Damn, we got a shift knob. Clean the bags up. For sale, people. Look how fucking mint they are. They're brand new almost. All right, let's blow this thing out, people. I really should extract the carpets, but I think we'll just blow it out and... Oh, the vacuum. I gotta get, I'll vacuum it first. I gotta vacuum it first. Well, trust the process. I said it and I'll say it again. Fuck. It's not the most perfect interior, but this is all stuff, you know? Maybe a 991 wheel in it would go crazy. The shift knob in the outside light. Bless me, if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate it. Can you bless me a little bit? Just hit that subscribe button, that's all I ask. I wanna take this thing to the drag strip, people. I wanna see if it'll do a wheelie. All this stuff, dyno's coming soon, exhaust, all the good shit. It's running now, so it's gonna get exciting quick. But first, let's clean. We're, then it's seat time, and then we're taking this thing for a spin. Spank me and call me Susie, cause, whew, boy, come on. That back piece kills me. And I need some floor mats that say Porsche in red lettering. That's probably a thing, I guarantee it. Don't bolt it in yet. Okay, let's take a moment for prayer to something or someone, whoever. Who you wanna pray to? Brian. We'll pray to Brian, okay. Please Brian, I know you're thinking about us right now. Please make the seat work. All right, before you do anything, say a prayer quick. Try it. Nothing. Hey, shut the door. Shut, no, it, that's not how it works. Fucking knew it. Shh. Trying to listen to the motor or anything. Well, Ant's gonna check the fuses. I'm gonna go and throw the passenger seat in while he's looking for that. I'm hoping it's just a fuse. It's a 50-50, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Hopefully walk is in our hands today. What's the news, doctor? Let me see it. Whatever, I think this Don't is even good. look at it, just replace. Fuse is blown. Just replace it and see if it is. I don't even wanna know. Luckily we got a spare right there. Ryan might be on our side today, people. Here, take the key. Yeah, mother f Sometimes it's that easy, sometimes it's not. All right. Pop it off. Well, we're in check the wires. I said, ah, let's just put a 30 in to test. Is the battery on? What? I thought I heard something. What? Take the battery off. Why? It smells like something's burning. Take it off! It's popped. Uh-huh. All right, so after some uh, research, Ant was under the dash trying to chase down this, um, wiring mishap. The fuse keeps blowing, but you tested the uh, output and it's not going to the seat, because even with the seat unplugged, it still blows the Yeah, fuse. it's somewhere in between the seat and who knows where. It's gonna be further diagnosing. But before, while we have sunlight, I told you guys we were gonna drive it and now we have seats in it so it could sit in the car. The thing, when we got it, it had an auto shifter. Now it's got a manual on it, which is crazy to think about. That's a huge, W, seats in it, seat belt, and it's looking very nice. So, me and Ant did a great job, if I say so myself. It's coming together. Now it's the stupid things, like Ant said we did the whole oil swap, and now we're battling a fucking powered seat that's not working, but we can at least drive it. So the seat's in. I haven't started in a while, but let's see what happens. I gotta do the brake. What are you, new? I did it one time, the brake don't work. It's the clutch. No way. Move the left or left. Apply brake. 
most select their rate of levels of parts. They think we're in fucking drive. Hmm. I think you're right. It's that thing that we had plugged in the last time. That's not. That was in the shifter. All right, guys. Well, I said it, and I'm gonna keep my word. Tonight, I can't. I have to leave. Tomorrow, we'll take the center council and everything back out. It's not a huge deal. We have to jump like the neutral safety switch, essentially. The car thinks that it's not in park since this was an automatic car. Thought we jumped it, but it's something's not right. But tomorrow, we will address it. Like I said, I have to go somewhere, so we will fix it tomorrow, and then we drive it. See you guys tomorrow. I found the loophole. I hit up Chavis. I said, my car won't drive. It thinks it's in drive. It's not in drive though. What? That whole clip you just said is complete. No, the car thinks no the car needs to be in park in order for it to start. You said your car won't drive, it thinks it's in drive. The car, this your car. The car won't start. Oh yeah. It thinks it's in drive or whatever. It needs to yeah. be in park. It keeps so, telling you park. Sounds like a riddle. But anyways, Aunt tested the wires. We were trying Adam to was starting think to test we had to jump it. No. Nope. We could. No. It just really needs one to. thing, and I'll tell you what that one thing is. A manual cluster. Who would have thought? Everyone. Not us. We didn't think that. We were ready to rip the whole interior back out. Yeah, but this was always plugged in. So it will drive and start if this is plugged in. No, good thing we didn't rip this all back out. It needs a cluster. Okay. Depending on the day, you want an auto or you want to drive manual. We got both. Well, I pushed the car outside because in the shop it is so violent. Like I said, we need an exhaust so we can't go on the street. But we're going to drive it more than we did last time. I'll be very upset if this thing sits in an impound yard because it's not registered. And Try to be responsible and we're going to drive around the lot. Businesses are closing down. People are leaving. Fuck them anyways. But... Be a little respectful for your neighbors. Let's uh, get some heat in this thing and then take it for a spin with the interior in her. Alright, so I'm probably going to be yelling a little extra just due to that the air plug. It's so obnoxious. Dang it. What? What'd you say? The seatbelt thing's dinging. You don't need those air plugs. You can't talk to me. The brakes. What? It felt weird. <laughs> We're on the road, baby. Let's hit the highway. The brakes feel two out of ten. Two? Potatoes. They worked before, I thought. To the floor. That's crazy. You gotta jam it. Well, it's not quite roadworthy, but at least we got seats in. Start up though. We do have to have this on Ant's lap, as you That's can poor. see. We got it on tight. Brian, how'd that sound on the 
Get. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's right here. No, we got a cake or something. Yeah, look it. I told you. Uh, I probably just coolant. Yeah, it's still leaking, huh? Oh, we topped it off. That's why. Yeah, just coolant. Oh, just top, just top. Yeah, topage. we topped it off. Pause. Yeah, just coolant. Oh wow, there's <laughs> fucking a lot in there. It's about to bust. Pause. <laughs> it's about to bust the cap off. Don't shut that. Why? It doesn't bust. I don't want to get burnt. It doesn't shut though. It doesn't. I wasn't last. gonna slam it. I'm not a fool. Brad, can we get your opinion on the interior? Nah, I don't think. So. All right, fuck. All right, it, let me check it. Sit in it. Sit in it. I gotta feel this. First, the first thing I'll tell you I don't like, there's two shifters. Cars yeah. don't need two That's shifters. That's if you're feeling lazy one day. You don't want to shift. This is one True. of the you know what I mean? Units? Sometimes you don't yep. want the... Exactly. Tiptronic. Right? We got both. Alright, so what the fuck? How do we gotta get... How we gotta you gotta get a new cluster. cluster. Cause Are you it thinks, kidding me? Yep. Can it's Porsche. They don't make a it. paper clip in between the It's seat Porsche. Belt, right? Put the it's seat Porsche. Belt, right? Brian, can you... Why is this below that? Can you fuck... Oh Finger fuck that Are you over kidding it? me? Yeah, Bri, what does that unpin? This does come out, but you can you need a special these. tool. You can replace How these. did it get below the loop hole? That's a question only God can answer, I think. Anyways, this, you, you, you don't need that. Why leave not? that. Leave well, that. Shut the Why door, would I Bri, leave that? So I'm not walking a mile apart. I gotta park close. That's stolen valor. Oh, bro. Anyways, this <laughs> thing's got 103,000 miles. Yeah, she's yeah. just fucking breaking in. What kind of cluster? You're gonna get a cluster with lower miles? Of course. Yeah, and Why then would change I get... the title. Oh, it we... does look foolish. What? Yeah. It's got Prindle. The, uh, Prindle. What about the shifter? How's that feel? You need a new steering wheel. You got this. Yeah. Right. Cool. This is cool. The shit that you're taught, it, it's thousands this of dollars. This is why you get a manual car to start with, I think. Uh, I think so. So the cover is missing from this. Yep. Everything I touch, there's an issue with so far. It's so an old I, car. I, I, and I don't want it to you, be like that. You like, should I'm have not, seen it before. This is now the finishing touches. I wouldn't say I'm looking for issues, but. Uh, shift boot. Fantastic. Quality. Did you use the rejuvenator? <laughs> yep. You did. Looks fantastic. Thank you. How's it yeah, feel? Good. I don't want to touch it. Don't touch I guess my hands, my hands. My hands are pretty clean. Yeah, those are clean. This is what they feel like these cars? Yeah. GT3 shifter. Second gear is a little not right. I'll tell you, something's not right because the throw between three and four, four is real short. Like it's right there. Three, far away. Huh. Cable adjustment. Yeah, you need a cable adjustment. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it looks well put together, except for the, what's that piece missing? Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. It's gonna take Gotta a get it on bit eBay. Of sourcing. I found it on eBay. Park sourcing. Well, enough of Brian complaining about it. It's fucking amazing. Drew, how do you think it is? Good? They tended the sunroof. Did they? Factory. Kind of fucking fire, honestly. Besides the sound of it, not terrible, right? <laughs> Wait till Johnny hey, Shits puts the fucking exhaust on his thing. The double pipes, exactly. The double pipes. So tonight is Friday the 13th, but it's going to be someone's lucky day because the giveaway on the fucking kooky is full. I think I'm going to do that tonight. So if you entered, make sure you watch the live stream last night. If you're watching, it's going to be a little delayed. You'll already know if you want it on my Instagram. Tonight, I'm really nervous. Yeah, it's 250 of them. <laughs> Could announce it. We'll get you a microphone and shit. It'll be good. You said enough. You basically said it was a piece of shit, Brian. You tore it apart. Listen, Brian. what's there? It, it looks nice. You know, these interior parts aren't cheap, bro. But I, I, you know, they're cheap made. I think they break. You want me to lie to you? No. It's no. missing. It's missing parts. Yeah. Compared to what it was. It's, yeah, it's got. Well, it was it. missing a lot of parts. I know. We're by time and funds. We're getting there somewhere. How, can you can't. What about all this, like the stuff that's worn out? We're gonna paint yeah, match it. Getting. Yeah, well, you're gonna paint it for us. That's what we're gonna do. I like that idea, actually. Color match. Yeah. I mean, if all they they actually do that. Yeah, right? they do. Yeah. yeah, we got but the that idea. But all determines the exterior paint color of the car, so we're not Look gonna do block. that. It's so exquisite. Don't touch that. Why does that move like that? Uh, I don't know. So when you're that's turning, gotta, that's how it's. Supposed I think to when be. you're turning. That's crazy. When you're ripping. We gotta end this video right now because we gotta oh, announce the winner for the 14th. Please do, Brian, take it away.
All right, everybody, uh, thanks for watching today's video. We really appreciate the support. If you could leave us a like on this video, subscribe in the top corner, maybe even ring the bell for this young man, DJ. He works so hard for this YouTube stuff, and you guys got to support him. With that said, have a great night, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.